let's get to our team coverage on this excessive heat. Yeah, we're going to get to Parker Collins in a minute, but first let's get out to Leslie and the information you are going to want to hear when it comes to keeping your air conditioning working. Leslie. Uh, Justin said, well, we're one degree shy of 90. This fan is doing nothing for me this morning, but you really need that AC. Now we do know that technicians will likely be slammed today, meaning it took anywhere from one to two days for them to come out. But there are ways that you can know if your AC is experiencing issues before it is too late. Now these are some tests I would run this morning so you're not stuck in a bad situation. Here are the tips. First, you want to listen for a loud knocking or noises coming from the unit. You also want to check if warm or less cool than normal air is coming out of the vents in the house. Smell for bad or strange odor. Look for moisture or dripping around the unit and pay attention to see if the AC keeps turning on and off for no apparent reason. We know the cost for repairs can just be extraordinary. So coming up in the next half hour, how to know when you don't need a service or repairman and when you can fix things on your own, saving you tons of money potentially. Back we, to you. We like the sounds of that. All right, Leslie, thank you so much. Yeah, because it's always when yours goes out, it's at a time when everyone's calling.